You had to get in the back of the bus, Jess. I it's know. It's not about race. It's not about race. It's not, oh, yeah, right. It's not about race. So, yeah, here's your near automata screen as Connor. <laughs> you got shit canned, but. This is the top of the range house household assistant. Oh, wait, never mind. You're a different character now. That's right. Oh. Come on, Zoe. Let's go. Is this an Apple store? <laughs> For people. It kind of does look like it. You can look around. Uh, yeah, I think we've already established that. I think the only thing I'm ready for in this future is all this digital paper bullshit with its light up and stuff. Yeah. Like, I noticed even the Time magazine had a little kind of a motion cover to it. Yeah, you can pick up the book and actually swipe the cover and go a few pages. Can we turn the volume up just a little? Uh, I know you don't want it to pick up, but... There. Well, I turned it down because I didn't want to... Which is literally what I just said. Yeah. Well, I mean, to bother the other people in the other room. Oh. Well, they're not here now. They're not watching anything okay. anymore. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So yeah, look at this. $30,000 for this little little man, little Chinaman. Oh god, not him, not him! No! It was really messed up. Oh, so it is him. Oh, so they do repairs and stuff. Yes. So, you are a refurbished android. Ah, oh, sweet. It's new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. Yeah, how much? Oh, we don't mind. Oh, my memory got wiped. That's going to be important. My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Uh oh. Kara. Oh, I thought I'd get Cara. to name myself. My name is Kara. Well, they have to be able to speak the name. <laughs> So yeah, basically, <laughs> like, in whatever many years, it, you know, until this place is uh, up to our current year, uh, we could go get a refurbished uh, used android that was recently repaired, yeah, and have like a, a like a middle to lower end model like her, four thousand dollars. One Shit. step up from refurbished for a model of her quality, but brand new, eight thousand. Yeah, that makes sense. But still, eight the Fister. <laughs> eight th th I think that's a real thing I in think, Detroit. Yeah, I think that's an actual Detroit landmark. Oh my god, Detroit. Why do you have a giant sex toy hanging out <laughs> as a statue? But yeah, it's like... You know, we have this fantastical future, and it looks like a lot of stuff is too expensive to have. I mean, you have normal cars, and then these, like... Like... Oh, shit, what, what was the movie we just seen? Upgrade. Upgrade, This yeah. is almost like Upgrade. They kind of do like, like, look like the cars from Upgrade. Now, this is actually a really pretty opening. I mean, they're obviously showing off oh, their graphical capability, game. but... Yeah, this game was well, so Well, I mean, the music pretty. and everything, you know, it's really nice. I do enjoy games that kind of have this, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the theme about androids, you know, and emotions and souls, and I mean, that's... Yeah, you know, what made Nier so beautiful is yeah. that kind of theme. Thank you, well, Mr. I Asimov. I fucking love Nier Automata. Which, which, by the way, world people out there, if you haven't played Nier, go play Nier. Nier Automata. Yeah, Nier Automata. We'll, play we'll Nier also and play Nier, Nier Automata. Yeah. <laughs> They're both fucking. Yeah. <laughs> November 5th. 2038. You know what's great, though? The old grizzled cop that you gotta eventually have on your your cop your buddy cop team. He's born in eighty five. Yes. Right? Yeah. He's, yes, he's, he's, he's old he's, as us. Yeah. He's a millennial just <laughs> like us. We're not a fucking millennial. Yeah. I, technically, I just, it is. It's, you know, technically, it's anyone born after nineteen eighty. No, it's wrong. I, yeah, I, I count I don't, people born on the fucking millennium. Yeah. Two thousand. I agree, but I'm just saying. I know. Mill millennials are the only only if you don't remember a time before the internet. Ah. I remember a time before the internet. Boy, was it sucky. Yeah. But also good. The secrets of the end. Wait, what's the difference between next and page one? Uh, page next is the next thing. Page one is page one of the thing you're on. Oh, so it can have, like, multiple... Yes. The climate change-up. So are they subscribing to the, uh, it's actually going to get colder? No, uh... Climate change theory? 
No, uh, there is a kind of global warming thing going on, and yeah. there's also a war tension between well, us and, I think, uh, Russia. Well, it, it's talking more about change. Like, you, there's nothing mentioned in global warming. It's really talking oh. about how there's changes happening on a global scale. Yeah, I mean, the planet is all, always constantly in flux. That's why, you know, the climate's different than it was 200 years ago or 200 million years ago. Climate always changes. We'd be a dead planet if it stopped changing. Climates. Oh, oh uh, you know what? Wait a second. Always change. What? Oh. I think I got... Sorry, I just understood something about this. Hold on. Uh... See, so the first the first option is about androids, and then the second one is about green earth. And so when I go through the pages, it's for whatever that option is that I had. Yeah, yeah. I said. Yeah. That. Well. <laughs> well, she was reading. When you said I was that. reading. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize. The first androids were perfect. Her. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions. We soon realized that there was something disturbing about them, which is kind of actually... <laughs> That's called uncanny. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say. You know what their problem was, though? They probably made the robots oh, look one. exactly like humans. Right. You either want to go down the chappy route and make them not human, <laughs> but, like, anthropomorphized with, like, you know, antennas that look like rabbit ears or, like, a yeah. USB cable tail or something. Or dress it up like a furry. <laughs> and there you go. No problems whatsoever. Yeah, David Cage, give me the future with the furry robots. Androids. But yeah, isn't the the robot... So the difference is a robot is a machine that's built for one specific s uh, purpose. An android is generally used for a human-like robot. And then there's Cyborg, which is a human with... Cybernetic, Cybernetic implants. implants. Yeah, technically. Uh, for the most part, a robot is full-on machine, nah, whereas an android joggers. was specifically Fine. made for... Uh, God, this game tasks. doesn't want me to explore. So nice. basically, a robot could achieve what? sapience, whereas an android has a high chance of already having sapience like, uh, as an inborn thing. Also, an android is basically the perfect bridge you can have between a human and a <laughs> robot because, you know, ghost in the shell. Where yeah. we're able to plug our brains in and then download our brain juices into a robot. What was the thing over there? Oh, I think it's that sign. I'm walking here. I love they did a little power walk there across. Yeah. yeah. Press R2 to use GPS. Well, yeah. That's what I've been doing. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, because oh. he's showing me oh, okay. 64 meters, see? They got flying vehicles. I think that was just a drone. Yeah, it's a drone. Yeah, I know. I think one of my favorite <laughs> things about that whole thing is... uh. I want me a hot dog! It, it grids stuff up. Yeah, just stare at them. Give me a hot dog. Just be like... Hi, buddy. Give me hot dog. Hot, hot dog. Yeah, just stare pretzel. at him. Pretzel. Get a pretzel. Yeah, just stare at him. Make him uncomfortable. Hot dog. Pretzel. Hot dog. Pretzel. Hot dog. Pretzel. Hot dog. Pretzel. Hey, move it. You're scaring away my cousin. You're scaring away the androids. <laughs> Hi. God. Do you have any cyber hot dogs? <laughs> oh, hey. I'll go sign. I can't. I can't see what it says. Human. <laughs> Human music. <laughs> One dollar to hear. Wait, so is that an android that's playing? No, I think he's saying I'm a human. Is it? Yeah. Well, in theory. Because you know, an android could per could in theory create mathematically perfect music, right? In theory. So I think the idea is you say, oh, fine, I can't go look at the protesters. Game. Can you look at the statue? The statue? Like the fountain here? Oh, that I don't think it was a pro. Oh, yeah, it is. KFC? <laughs> wow. It looks like it was a. 
Unless that green is supposed to be like the, the weird... What does that say? Copper oxidation. Arnold Brook. 1915-1998. Oh. oh. Well, he's, he's been dead before the game. He don't matter then. <laughs> All right. He acted like he just walked by someone, but there was no one there. Ghost! It's a ghost! Excuse you. Excuse, excuse you, excuse you. I think I look familiar. Are you passing a thing? Excuse- Yeah, what's that? Is that a drug dealer? Get some robo-drugs. No, he's a preacher. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that speaker at Fry's. <laughs> Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. America. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. What? You are the one who will destroy Detroit. But, but, but. We can't be friends. Foreshadowing. I want to be friends. I just, I just love that Ugh. this is something that really would happen. I mean, that's the whole reason why we can't get the whole. Uh, security chip implants because some fucking idiots are like, what if someone gets the serial number six six six? Wait, wait. Then don't print six six six. I was thinking he was me. Jongus. Hey. He looks that really looks similar. similar. Uh, the no, hairlines. that's that's not. It's him. a little different. Trust me, that's not him. Oh, I know. Oh yeah, look at these movies. Oh. Raiken. Target. Target. Uh, Invasion. Invasion. Why they're all like Something these are all sci-fi. Maverick. Because in the future we need more sci-fi and horror. Anna, Anna Maverick, and the Lost Kings. Kings. Almost like a Tomb Raider type thing, I guess. Kinda. This would be yeah. Yeah, it's the future. Everything has to be sci-fi. Yeah. Cause see. Oh, Rainbow Store. Oh, this is where I'm going. Rainbow Store. The paint, yeah, it's store. the paint store. Who copying me? I said it first. <laughs> I thought it was the gay store. That is an interesting setup he has there. Hello. So yeah, this is kind of interesting. Uh, if you ever like get an Android and you're like, I don't want to do the shopping, just send the Android out. Let Dude, yeah, I would send my exactly. Android to the grocery store. Hell yeah. But wait. How is he going to pay for stuff? He's a robot. Uh, I probably have some sort of chip in my hand that I pay with. I mean, shit, our debit cards already have chips. Please confirm payment. He's also an android. Pay. <laughs> Press X to pay. Payment oh. Yeah, and there see? you go. He's Wi Fi. Oh, Bluetooths your, your yeah. wallet. Over. We just Bluetoothed. It's like the fucking, uh, the tap. That's fucking the, the dangerous. Tap to pay yeah, thing. Dude, that's so dangerous to, like, have Bluetooth wallets all right something like honestly something that was like a ball that was totally dropped in here that could have been done i wanted i was waiting i was fucking waiting for there to R1. be some asshole that was hacking androids just like like you know why the music wait, wait wait why'd the music get all creepy uh it's not creepy that's kind of creepy this is future wait, what's your other things Right. I already did the other two. Yeah. Oh, blue means you've done it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Take bus home. Okay. So now I'm just heading for the bus stop. Because I think I looked at everything else. I like else. how they have a little lineup station. Oh, yeah. You can't walk into uh, Android businesses as an activated robot. Get yours today, Chobits. <laughs> Real life Persicoms. Wait, can I look at you guys now? It's pretty sad when the fucking androids in this game are like Machines. tens cheaper than the oh, ones hey. in Chobits. Right? Uh oh. I'm kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Uh oh. I shouldn't have come here. No! Motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Took our germs. Took our germs. Actually, they did. That is part of the problem in this game. Well, think about it. You have a machine that doesn't require any break, any lunch break, they right. don't fatigue, and it's cheaper to get a $12,000 robot to work for your service than oh. to hire humans Whoops. and pay for benefits. So yeah, that is a realistic thing. If we ever make androids that were advanced like this, 
we are going to kill all middle and low class jobs. Right. Yep. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm going to have to find it. Yeah. It is personal property, technically. Yep. Yeah. Expensive guns. property. You know, no matter what, though, an android wouldn't be able to take over cop's job. It's kind of what no. Connor's doing. All right, all right. <laughs> no, no, there's aspects that they can do really well as a cop, but you you couldn't get rid of human cops. Yeah, true. That was the premise of the new RoboCop, and there have been stories where they try to explore a self-automated uh, thing. That's always been bad. Thankfully, in this one, there are android cops, but it's still, like, one android cop per, like, ten human cops. Mm. I guess Andrews could be good for, like, beat cops. Wait, there was a... Like, you missed the... Search. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Her specifically. I mean, think about it. You have a walking, talking, digital thing that can record footage, upload data, check the database on the fly, have facial recognition capabilities, potential. An android cop is, like fucking kind of ingenious in a lot of uh, aspects. Plus, you send a cop in, you know, first, they get shot, they go down, but hey, cheaper to fucking repair an android <laughs> cop than a human cop, right? That's true, yeah. Press X to wait for bus. The only downside a, a android cop lacks is it doesn't have the human nuances. It wouldn't be able to have, like, gut feelings or anything like that. Well, right? and it's not so much that, but it's about empathy. It's about a lot of humans just wouldn't be able to trust an android no matter what. So you need the human cops to gain trust of other people. Yeah. You know, it's that sort of thing. You had to get in the back of the bus, Jess. I it's know. It's not about race. It's not about race. It's not, oh, wait, yeah, right. It's not about race. What? Well, I, I don't. Driving the bus? I, I don't see how this relates to history at all, guys. <laughs> so, is David Cage actually French or is he French Canadian? I think he's full on French. Okay. Uh, really? I thought he was French Canadian. Well, it doesn't matter. They're all fucking well, no, some see, level of French. That's the, on, the only thing that's worse than French is a French Canadian. Well, Someone from Canadian, Quebec. Canadian. <laughs> Yeah, we, don't, well, we don't have any French oh. Canadian cup followers because they refuse to speak English because they don't know what the hell they're saying. No, they speak both. Wow, you only missed French. one thing. Stare at the hot dog vendor. Oh, there would have oh, been. Oh, there was actually. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> that was a thing. If he stayed longer, there was a thing he could have done. What would done. he do? I, he catch up on you? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know that that was an actor. I was just like joking I, around. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted you to fucking make him feel uncomfortable. What I the love fuck? This. Yeah. All these are, like, not even part of the main thread. Like, it's just, hey, extra stuff that are out going on outside of Oh, your my God. Room. So, <laughs> hang on. Hit oh, yeah, the percentages. Hit the good. triangle. I want to see something. Yeah. 26 <laughs> people. 26% of people actually sat there and st stared at the hot dog vendor. One in four. I had no idea you can bother the guy. That's hilarious. Like, I was just like, I'm an android. I want a hot dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and it's like, oh. Get out of here. Oh, damn it. Now I wish now I wish I would have stared longer. Right. Okay. Re replay value. We have, yeah. we have, we're, after we play this, we're gonna have to play again to stare at the hobby vendors. That's <laughs> All right, uh hit <laughs> hit uh, start. Comment and subscribe, please. I live off validation and I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs>